Hello everyone. So as we know, we are moving with the module number second, that is technical writing. As you have discussed, when you go in the organization after your education, the written communication is more important or more preferred than the oral communication. So for that, you have to learn various technical writings. For example, report writing, proposal, descriptions, email, resume writing, and all that. As we have discussed in the previous video, the introduction part and the report writing. In the introduction part, we have covered if you write. Effective technical writing, you have to take care of the five C. That is first the clarity. That means when you are writing, there must be a clarity of the thought in your mind. Then and then only you can clear the doubt or your purpose to the reader. First of all, the clarity. Second C we have discussed is completeness. There must be a complete write writing. There there must be a result or the end product of any writing. That means the completeness. Next is the consciousness. When you are writing any report or proposal or description, you have to write as small as possible. It must be a conscious so that it can get or is it can grasp the attraction of the readers. Next is the consistency. There must be a consistency or the continuity from one point to another or from one topic to the another topic in the writing. there must be a consistency and last c we have discussed is correctness if you are not strong enough with your writing you can verify with your colleagues with your friends but you have to check or there there won't be any grammatical mistake or any other mistake so for that you have to verify and the last c we have discussed is correctness so this 5 c clarity completeness consciousness consistency and correctness you have to take care of this 5 c for the effective technical writing this we have discussed in the previous video also the next topic we have discussed is technical writing or sorry technical report for the report as we have discussed it is the activity or the written format which has already taken place it is known as the report this we have discussed and today we are going to start with a new topic that is technical proposal you have heard the name of proposal it is the word which is used to write for the beginning to start anything proposal are written order to solve a technical problem or to undertake a project of practical and the theoretical nature there must be a proposal which means to start proposal means to start to start anything in your if you are starting something new you have to write a proposal a proposal is an offer by one party to provide a product or the service to another party in exchange for the money it is usually a sales presentation seeking to persuade the reader to accept the written plan for accomplishing a task proposal may be written to people within an organization you can either write the proposal within the organization for example in the college if you want to start a new lab so you have to take the permission of the higher authority the principal or the hod or the trustee for that you have to write the proposal that i i am an environmental engineer and i want to start with this lab or if you have to buy some equipment you have to write the proposal for the same so it is written within the an organization or to an outside company or to the government in other words proposals are written offer to solve a technical problem or to undertake a project of practical or theoretical culture so it can be also right to resolve the technical problems in the organization or outside the organization also to the government sometimes you have to take the government project so for that you have to write the government proposal so this is all the basic about the proposal there are generally two types of proposal as, as basic we say there are two types of proposal one is the sales proposal and the research proposals sales proposal are also known as the business proposal in the business or the organization there there is a sales proposal written they are sent outside the company to potential clients or the customers sales proposal rarely duplicate one another in either structure or the style so in fact they often take a quick different or the creative directions like the successful advertisement when you see the advert advertisements it is also one type of the proposals within the business or the organization and the next type is the research proposals which are usually academic in nature and the most and mostly used in the academic area or the environment professors 
or the institutes for which they work may submit a proposal to obtain a grant in response to a request or the announcement from the government or the any agencies if you are working in the college and you have some grant you need some grant from any agency then you have to write the research proposal a research proposal may even appear in the foreign language it must be a, if you are working with the multinational institute you have to write the proposal in the foreign language also for example a research proposal submitted by the academic institutes in india to a multinational company for example in germany then you have to write a report or the proposal sorry the proposal in the german language so there are generally two types of proposals sales proposal and research proposal if we discuss the objective of the technical proposal then it is written to convince other organization to tie up with you to the better business so it is as we have discussed it is to start anything here to tie up the other organization with so to start the business with the other organization we have to write the proposal also to increase the profit of the organization by persuading the customers to purchase your product or the service here you have to purchase you have to sell the product for that you have to write the write the proposal to suggest the solution for an existing problem if you are working in the institute and your student is having some problem during the research work then you have to say the solution for that you have to write the research proposals to give the new ideas which help in expanding the business if you are in the lower hierarchy level and you have to give the new idea to the higher hierarchy to your boss to your manager then you you don't have to direct contact or the oral communication is not preferred at that time you have to write the technical or the sales proposals at that time in the organization and also the objective to suggest the innovative ways of doing things in organization to cope up with the changes so this are many objectives why the technical proposals are preferred to write the technical propo proposals you must be take care of many characteristics as technical proposal is meant to convince its readers so why you are, you have to convince your readers to take a decision based on it it must be well written and included arguments that prove the point you in the technical proposal you have to include the arguments which can prove your topic which can be easily get by the readers and they convince your point so here you have to think of many characteristics let's have discuss some characteristic like proposal must be written very neatly and must look attractive not only proposal here we have discussed about it but whole technical writing everything in the technical writing you have to write very neatly and which looks a good or the attractive is it must be written in the proper format which is sequence leads to the final suggestion as we have discussed completeness there must be a final suggestions in the proposal proposal must have a convincing tone with argument backed by the information and enough research while writing the proposal you must keep in mind the readers and the customers actual need in mind very important while you while using or while writing the proposal you have to keep in mind that the readers and the customers actual need what they need or and if you are writing the research proposal in the institute you have to take care the need of the superiors or your teacher the professor so that you can write the proposal according to their mind also you have to give according solution to address those needs proposals must lead the decision makers to believe that their needs will be taken care of it and it is accepted you are writing the proposal you have to give the believe that their needs must be taken care this does not mean giving the false promises in the proposal it must be supported by the concrete action there must be a strict action behind this point and last all other written communication a proposal must be clear concise coherent and factual there must be a factual part you have to write in the proposal so while writing the technical proposal you have to take care of such characteristics this is all, all about the proposal which is to start or to convince your reader and the customers the next topic we will discuss is the technical description as from the word you clear the description now the written format is very long 
A technical description is a text which describes an object or the process in detail. Before starting the topic, let me give the example. When you buy a washing machine or when you buy a mobile phone, there is a booklet inside your box. That booklet, around five to six pages or seven pages, that booklet is known as technical description. Very easy example when you we, when we purchase any product, there must be a instruction book within the box of around six to seven to ten pages, and it is known as technical description. When an object is described, it is include what is included in that book: its physical aspects, functions, its part. and a process is described by breaking it into the steps the whole machine the whole product is divided into various steps and explaining each step in detail like it, like its importance what is the importance of the product its sequence in the process and how it is carried out technical description can itself be the independent document it is the independent document for example as we have discussed when the manual of the washing machine or it can be a part of the larger document so the technical report or or you may say it is a textbook type around 10 to 10 to 12 pages the technical description of an object or the machine or a process can be done using the two steps yes the first step is the defining part and next is the describing part the manual your manual generally contains the main two point the first is the definition part and second is the description part the first and the very obvious step is to define the object the product machine or the process what it means there must be a first step a definition gives the meaning of the word here when we define an object machine or the process we try to make it clear to the reader about what it is when we purchase any product or we see any product and if we don't know anything about the product we don't know what it is then by defining by first two pages we will clear about the product which is the definition part the definition is for them who have heard the word for the first time and so it is important to define before we describe anything definition may also includes the function of the thing so the first part of the technical description is the definition when you are hearing the product name first time you don't know anything about it then this will help you for to get the product second step is the describing the description gives the information about the physical features of a object or the machine or the product with the dimension if possible now the next part in the booklet is the description of the product that means its dimensions also the advantages and disadvantages of the object is included the material used to make it which material it used for the making of it and the function and the use the description must be so vivid or so detailed that the reader are able to visualize the thing it is that much in detail in case of process description we must write the objective of the process and what it is final result so there must be a advantages disadvantages added in the second part that means the describing so generally the technical technical description is written into two steps the defining part and the describing part also the describes describing part includes the physical features like the shape of the product size color material which material as we have discussed again sometimes it is clarify all thing features comparisons with the unknown object can be done you have seen the product compares with the other product and for that you clear your mind the placement of the part in the whole the this product is made up of this small small part it is also included in the description this includes the detail of where the part is in the whole object or the machine function of the part in the whole here we describe what is the role of that part in the function of the object or machine or the role of the step in the whole process and lastly there is advantages and disadvantages of the parts and lastly the technical description is a text which describes an object or the process in terms of its parts physical features functions and the organization it is a systematic description the technical description is a systematic way of the whole and the part one by one 
with its physical features and functions it consists of the diagrams of the object comparison with the similar known object are done to clarify the features of the object and its part so this is all about the technical description from the word itself the description it is not the small writing but around 7 to 8 or 10 pages and generally the manual which we get in the when we purchase a product it is it is the technical description so today total we have covered two topics technical proposal which it is used when you have to start anything when you have to convince your superiors and the technical description which is the booklet which we get when we buy the product the more topics of the technical writing module will be further discussed in upcoming videos thank you